So I uh, just wanted to respond to the news that I heard yesterday that Wim Hof is being sued for 60 million dollars by somebody in the States. And what happened was that they found their daughter um, face down in the swimming pool. And apparently on the laptop they found some tabs open from Wim Hof uh, method. So their conclusion was that Wim Hof method killed her, their daughter. And so first of all, of course, this is terrible when you find your daughter like this. Huge pain. Yeah? I can't even begin to imagine what that will be like. But then what is happening is what you can see is the pain body attacks. So they are suing Wim Hof. They're blaming him for the death of their daughter, which is crazy. And so there's a few things that I want to point out here, what you can see they're happening. So this is pain body, this is ego at its worst. Ego wants to control, manipulate, destroy. Ego wants to control. Ego wants to keep control of a situation. The mind wants to keep us safe. That's the, the positive side. That's what our mind is trying to do. If it can't keep control, then it will try to gain control by manipulation. This is where ego turns really bad. You know, start to manipulate. You can see that around you in people. When you're honest, maybe you see yourself doing that sometimes. And if that doesn't work, if ego gets so strong, then ego wants to destroy. So, in the case of these people, from the great pain, they go to destroy. They want to destroy Wim Hof. Let's go into attack. And, you know, on one level, I can get it. If I put them in their place, you think that Wim, they jump to the conclusion that Wim Hof method killed their daughter. First of all, we don't know if that's true. Anything can have happened. Um, so, let's destroy, let's attack and let's destroy Wim Hof. Nobody should happen to nobody. Let's, he must be shut down. It not, should not be allowed. We must shut him down 60 million so it will crumble his billion business. that's their thinking and on one level I can actually understand that but it's so fundamentally wrong it's what I would call pure ignorance and why because they're missing one fact that you will die at the moment when your soul chooses to die there's no coincidence. Why can it be that a plane crashes, four people sitting next to each other, three of them completely dead, smashed to pieces, and the fourth one is totally comes out and scratched more or less? Why is that? That person was not meant to die that day. And we have the illusion that we can kind of defeat death. The illusion that people have is that. We're doing everything we can to avoid death. We are so afraid of death. So let's create more safety barriers, more health and safety, more rules, more regulations. And yes, I'm all for you know being sane. But do we really think that if we put the barriers on the motorway twice as high that we're gonna avoid people dying? Well, it's like shifting sand from one pile to another. They won't die on a motorway, but if they're meant to die, they will die somewhere else. And again, I'm not saying we should all drive 200 miles per hour on a motorway and let's take all safety precautions away. That would be insanity as well. But you see what I mean? So, we're so afraid of death that something happens and immediately let's, we must eradicate this. But life doesn't work that way. And how about the hundreds of thousands, maybe million people, that 
have been helped really a lot by the Wim Hof method. It's so brilliant. Are we shutting this down because maybe one person had an accident? Even if she did the Wim Hof method, even if something went wrong, should he be shut down for that? And I know there are disclaimers on this website, etc. But the fundamental truth is that for whatever reason we don't know, she was meant to die that day, otherwise she would have not died. She wouldn't have had a blackout and drowned in the pool. Why did that happen to her? Not because of Wim Hof, because her soul chose that experience for her. And I'm saying this with love. Um, you know, I really feel for those people, but to sue Wim Hof is absolutely crazy. This is the mind in action, this is ego, pain body striking out, trying to avoid death. So, I hope this gets you thinking, um, peace, and yeah, maybe those people find peace in the situation, and I really hope that the judge will rule this case out and it never even gets to court, because Wim Hof is doing amazing work, so lots of love.